Nothing compares to you. United in song and in grief. I came from Limerick today, up in the train just to be here for her, and I went to the mansion house the day before from Limerick just to sign the book of condolence. She's such an inspiring woman, fantastic for people, fantastic for women, and to stand up for the rights of abuse. She was an amazing person. I discovered Sinead back in France when I was 10 years old. I don't know. There was an outpouring of emotion at Dublin City Hall this afternoon as dozens of fans gathered to remember Sinead O'Connor. I feel like she made a lot of people feel very safe. I think she defended a lot of people. So now that your defender's gone, I think you feel less safe in the world or something. Today's event was also to pay tribute to Sinead's many years as an activist, championing a series of causes throughout her career. You can't avoid Sinead's artistry from her activism. And we're, you know, going to remember the issues that she raised. Racism, uh, homophobia, poverty, war. Sinead touched on them all. She was predictable in that she was always an activist, always for inclusivity, always standing for trans rights, for homeless people, for refugees, for all of these, for all of these lesser known and un lesser po less popular causes. Sinead O'Connor described herself as a protest singer and gave her name to many causes. She was a lifelong LGBT ally. She raised awareness about racism in the music industry and campaigned for abortion rights here in Ireland. Her fans call her a trailblazer who wasn't afraid to break the mould and speak truth to power. Marie Cleary, Virgin Media News.